know if this is the recording audio, but hopefully it is. Okay. Hello everyone. This is Na. Um, I recorded this video earlier. Uh, I don't think the audio recorded, so I'm redoing this again. So, um, I'm gonna look over the Walton Files Find Jack.com uh, ARG thingy that's going on. Again, I'm not fully sure. I'm not gonna go over everything, and I'm not gonna go too in depth because I'm a lazy bitch. So, yeah, let's just. I opened up some tabs, but I'm gonna probably search some more stuff up because my computer is screaming right now and I don't want it to overheat and shut off like last time I did this. So, um, yeah, so first we have the cyber fun tech thing. I probably should read all of this, but I'm not gonna go too in depth by like looking at the HTMLs and stuff, but yeah, okay. So, the future of technology, cyber fun tech, um, and also we're gonna look at, make sure you see these, um, green things, um, so, yeah. Uh, um, mechanic entertainment, research and engineering, um, and here we have a um, cute little drawing of Bon and Shaw. Happy New Year's 1982, Cyberfun Tech wishes all a lovely new year, big things are coming. Due to recent projects, all Cyberfun Tech workshops and services will be um, unavailable for the new year. We're deciding, you've decided to put all our focus on a brand new project coming to you this way. For more information, apply for work or any collaboration ideas for the distant future. You can reach us by letter or call us at... Um, okay, so there is no, um... Yeah, there's no phone number, so... Oh, and it has a... Okay, um... See you soon. Um, at a, um... N P F K and S M N C E. Um, it looks like these are like. So I'm guessing this is Chris. This is Felix. And uh, I don't know who that is. It could be an N or an M. I cannot see. Um, I don't remember anyone with an N or an M. Um, I probably am gonna get fought. I'm probably gonna get yelled at for for saying for not remembering any characters with that, but there might be something I don't know. Okay. Anyway, since 1943, Cyberfun Tech has a, been a company dedicated to explore and push. The um, has been a company just dedicated to explore and push the limits of the modern world technology and what better way to do that than entertainment. Originally bounded by Jason Poultrick, again, there's like this small thing right here, there's a couple other ones above there, um, I think, I don't know, anyway, um, started a, started as a company manif made to manufacture small casino machines and games, its first creation being the advanced jackpot sense system. Since then, boop a -doo, um, Jason expanded his team onto a full-on company made need to investigate, research, and develop revolutionary systems for the maximum level of entertainment in the palm of your hand. Um, throughout the years, we've worked with the music parks, yes, even for the mass himself. Casino, theaters, restaurants changed, even that one bowling alley on Cross Street. Okay, here's another one. Um, on March 19, 1952, Mr. Polstrick died from a heart failure. His sons eventually took over the company. Honoring his father's legacy by pushing the limits of recent technology further. Is it me? I just realized this. Hold on. What's the Mr. Hippo thing from, from Bunny Farm? Bunny Farm Hippo um, um, Hippo. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably add this in later. But I swear this reminds me of like the dad and his two- the, the, the father Hippo on the farm and his two sons. Anyway, um, I'll probably add that in later. Um, editing now, you better f figure this shit out. Um, okay. Although some, only some of the very best um, technicians across America, al along, uh, shit, um, along only some of the very best technicians across America, we've been able to not only develop games that meant to amaze our clients' minds here, another um, green one. But we've managed to make our games develop mine of their own, a cutting new edge, new cutting edge new method of artificial technology. A game breaker is what it is. We're taking a new step in technology and entertainment. 
Machines able to resemble the actions of a real life performer, and I'm not talking about singing or dancing, but rather interacting with its audience and surroundings like a real person would. We may even be able to have our machines directly address our clients by name for the recognition system we've been developing over the years. This one looks like it's um, Banny, I think, because um, the, the face plates right there. Yeah. Of NP Local 57, June 20th, 1974. In Cyberfund Tech, here's another one. Our main focus has always been putting a smile on the faces of children across the U.S. Our company was made for all those small people with big minds like our founder. That's why we're always open to work with people that can bring something new and innovative to our office. Here's another one. Um, if you or your friend of or if you or any of your f friends of yours would like to work with us, feel free to apply to our Technology of the Future Fair, which is a, with a few with whew, with a full prototype of your idea. One of our assistants will reach out to you a few days after your application in case you're elected to participate on the fair. We've met a lot of bright minds across the years. Here's another one. Using this method since the 1960s, the 1982 Technology of the Future Fair has been canceled due to CT schedules and focused on greater projects. If you'd like to apply for the 1983 fair, feel free to give us a call. Here's another one. There might be another one in here. Um, if I hover, I, I don't know how to, again, not going to look through the HTML stuff and see if any spooky things. But I'm going to zoom out and see if there's any hidden text in the blue stuff. No, there isn't. Okay. And now, if we used all those green things, I might have missed some since I'm glossing over this, since I'm re-recording this. Anyway, if you put all the green things together, you go to this. Find jackwalton.com slash bright... Um, Brighton Ghosts, which seems to be the um, blog or I guess article site of Anthony, aka the person who has been aka the person who keeps on uploading all these subs. That yeah, yeah, this Anthony. Um yeah, so this is Brighton Ghosts. Um and. Uh, yeah, apparently his name is Anthony Miller. Um, apparently there's someone named Stephanie in this as well. He apparently seems to be a troublemaker that kind of screws up everything, but... Um, you could say I'm some sort of hero in my town, saving the innocent citizens with the cold, cruel hands of the supernatural. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god, he set fire to... Oh my god. Okay. So anyway, if you use the link, it goes back to... Um, I think Martin Wells' YouTube channel, yep, it goes back to his channel. Now, if you look at all these, I opened these earlier, and I checked all these earlier. They're all fake links. They do not work. They might get updated later. I'm not fully 100% sure, but now um, it just different uh, links. That seems to be different articles. I already zoomed out on all of these. Um, uh, there's nothing in hidden in here. There's just some, like articles that he that um anthony wrote same thing with here there's some again some spooky stuff i would also like um uh a kind of concern here but i don't know what to make of this uh, because currently i'm small brained so yeah try figure that out okay um Oh, he's trying to figure out how to talk with a ghost. Um, yeah, um, these, this might be important to the lore, but again, I'm small brain and I'm only glossing over this. I might look into this for later on. Um, I might post a follow up. I, I might not. Anyway, next, next link. Ghost real. I believe in ghosts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there is nothing hidden, nope, no hidden things. There might be something hidden in the images, but again, I'm too lazy for this. No, it's not possible to play poker with a ghost or dead after all. Um, seven chairs. Yeah, I don't know if that's important or not, but like, I mean, this is an ARG, so anything could be important. And um, yeah, this is a spooky thing. This goes with the findjackwalton.com slash missing thing. It, it came from can a ghost kill me of course we get the spooky thing from there why of course um next one i'm gonna just put in all the characters 
first we have um, Jack Walton. This one just says, "I am here with a bunch with a big ass load of question marks." Might have something to do with how do you how to successfully end with a ghost. Um, there's this um, lyrics thing. This whole like really weirdly formatted version of it. We also have this creepy photos with a couple of clowns and stuff. Might have something to do with Billy. I have no idea. Um, yeah. And I think down here was a, was a, yep, really blurred out photo of Jack. And, um, going here would probably bring us back to the spooky thing, yep. Okay, now if we go to Rosemary's thing, oh, I'm gonna have to type this out. Rosemary Walton. It looks like nothing, yes? But when you zoom out, you get a spooky ass picture. I don't know if it's Shaw or not. Looks kind of like, like, looks kind of like her, but eh. Next, um, we're gonna go to Jenny's. Um, fuck, I'm gonna type that. Up. Okay, sc never mind. We're not going to go to Jenny's. We're gonna go to Sophie's because yeah. Um, um, do you believe in happy endings? He loved us. This looks like it's coming from. This looks like this is coming from Ed and Molly because there's two kids here. Um, seems like they're trying to talk to Sophie again. Um, now to Jenny. I cannot type. Jenny Letterson. Now this is the thing that confused me because it is literally just a black screen. I don't know if I can't see anything on here. I am on Mac. I cannot do a lot of stuff on here. But it, I, I don't know computer stuff. But if you can find anything on here, cool beans. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. Um, yeah, I, that, that's all I can, that's all I remember. There might be some other stuff that I might have missed because I'm a dum dum. Uh, I'm gonna just, yeah, that's it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye, man.